changes. You know, okay. what happens if it changes? So, I had a sidebar conversation that I wanted to get into. So sidebar conversation is this. This is the question. What are some reasons that people rush to get into a relationship only to act like they're single once they get into it? Now, the, my point of view on that is um, the idea of a relationship sounds great. Like you want, everybody wants to have that person. I won't say everybody, but the majority of people want to have a person to share their life with. Mm -hmm. Some, so much so that they will settle for somebody who's giving them attention and making them feel good, but that person does not have their heart. That person mm -hmm. is not into it like you want them to be into it. So they're trying to do the absolute minimum to keep you sitting there, loving them, and they're still looking for other options because their heart is not really happy. You don't, you don't really have that person's heart. If they're still acting like they're single once they get into a relationship with you, that person's not happy. You are not that person's first choice. So what you are is a safe haven and you're, you know, you're just something at this point. Mm. Is that kind That's of transpose? Does that transpire into marriage? Like, so, like what he said, marrying for the wrong reasons, basically. Yeah, just, to, just to shut your ass up. We've been together exactly. 10 years. We're you settled. A ring on it. God damn, mm -hmm. we're going to get married. <laughs> you <Shut> settled. <laughs> But you're not really happy. So mm -hmm. you doing all kinds of, you're disrespecting, you know, the relationship, you lying, you getting caught doing shit you shouldn't be doing for a person mm -hmm. who's in a committed relationship. And what that boils down to is the person you're with is not who you really want. Because if it is somebody you really want, then you're going to do everything in your power to make sure that person knows they're wanted. So if you act in, you know, you act in single and all that kind, all that type of shit, you're not happy. And why are you pretending? Let that shit go. You wasting somebody's time and time exactly. you cannot get back. Mm -hmm. Like stop, stop being childish. Especially the ones that will just know what's happening and just sit there and just cry about it. And then just put them back on and come on in, come on in. You can come Don't on back. Something nice or you fuck you real good and you write back in. No. You have to make the, the decision to, I'm done. to do, and, and want better for you. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, this person is on some bullshit. Like, it shouldn't take somebody else telling you this person is on some bullshit. Like, you, it's, people show you who they are. It's sometimes we ourselves have a problem in believing what we're being shown. You want to believe in the potential rather than the person that they're actually showing you that they are. I think that's where we fuck up at. You you wanna you wanna believe in potential and, mm -hmm. and instead of what they're showing you. Yeah. So doing what they think they should be doing based on their age, where they are in life, society, and fam family pressures to tell them to be with somebody. Oh man, then you rush into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you thirty five. You ain't married yet. You ain't got kids yet. Mm -hmm. Yep. Absolutely. You see your other friends. All of them married. They walking around. Yeah, we right. married. It's the married crew. We we married. My husband. We're going to go do couples things because we married up in here. You know, I'm going to get married too so I can be a part of the couples and the marriage right. and do couple shit. But guess what? What you see on the surface might not be what they try to portray to you. Like, it could be a, not a happy home, but, you know, on surface, oh, my husband. Oh, it's, everything's going so great. You can't go by that Facebook <laughs> post. You can't be going by that stuff, man. You don't mm. don't believe everything you see sometimes. So you try to impress somebody and be like other people. You need mm -hmm. to be into that relationship because you want both of y'all want to be in it. Right. Michelle says some just like the benefits they get from you, like the way you treat them or the way you make them feel. That doesn't necessarily mean they are, they into, are into you. you. Absolutely. And that's mm -hmm. a selfish MF. Like they, they just want you to hang around because you're safe. 
and your, you know, your backup plan for, you know, maybe I'm, I'm looking for something else. You're not quite it, but you're safe. So I'm gonna keep you around mm -hmm. while I'm still looking for what I really want. And why are you confused? Why, Lamont? Yeah, what what are you confused about, sir? Let us know. What how can we explain a little bit better? <laughs> and of course, Mr. you make them feel good, but they don't make you feel make good. You feel, ooh. Yeah, yep. you're doing everything for them. So they keep you around for that reason and that reason only. Mm -hmm. While they look while they continue, you know, hoping something better comes along. And that's bullshit. You're wasting that person's time. You need to let that person go. Let somebody else make them happy. <laughs> uh, I'm saying we 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 enable people and we hold on oh, too long. Yes, definitely. For self. <laughs> yeah, that's like the number one. Um, like whenever somebody says, you know, what what do you wish you would have done? What's what's the ultimate thing you would have done differently? And my, my, my thing was ended it sooner because a lot, nine years, I was with him for nine years. I, mm -hmm. if I would have done anything differently, it was ended it sooner. I get it. I get it. Sometimes it take us or, you know, you gotta, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Boy, let me wait about mm -hmm. it. Let me wait a minute. Let me wait a minute. But then it's like, you know what? Something in you just like, okay, I absolutely had enough. And sometimes. Right you wait a little too long and like you said maybe it should have happened a little earlier but you don't got you know sometimes especially when you don't have like girlfriends in your ear like encouraging you and you know because sometimes you have those friends like girl you better stay married and you know girl what your time out <laughs> right y'all need to stick it out work it out you know you be having them friends trying to keep you you keep you married mm -hmm. So sometimes you might not have, you know, associates. You can kind of just talk about that with, you know, especially you're not going to family counseling and nothing like that. It's something you got to right. deal with, especially when the kids are involved and, you know, they're not getting along with the person and he's not mm -hmm. getting along. Like, it's just a whole, whole bunch of things. Whole bunch. Right. Whole bunch. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> 